Hey guys, Assalamu Alaikum, it's me Talha. In this video, I will be sharing with you a free Revit plugin that helps you create topography quickly and easily in Revit. Before I get started, I would like to let you know about my website learnrevitonline.com where you can get my Revit interior courses. You can follow the link in the description. Now let's get started. Okay, so you can download the plugin by following the link in the description and once you ins install it, uh, you will be able to see that in the add-ins tab here now let's create some model lines let's go to architecture select model line and i'm going to draw a spline let's copy this select that copy Now I will just quickly change the shape of these splines. Now let's create a straight line at the end of these uh, splines. So I will select model line again and just draw a straight line here. Maybe a bit closer to the last spline. Like so. Now if I go to 3D can see all these model lines were created at zero level and of course we don't want them to be like this because uh, we want to give the height offset to these model lines so let's select this one and if I go here you can see we don't have any option uh, to give the offset and we don't have any parameter to give the offset uh, to this model line so to do that we need to do a trick we'll just uh, make a group of this line so let's go here and click create group and let's call it model line one of course you can call it whatever you like now click ok and if i go here now you see we have the new parameter here origin level offset so by creating the group we will be able to give the height offset to the model line so let's give five feet for this one there you go I will quickly repeat this with the other splines as well just select the spline make a group name it click ok and then give the offset so this time i will give uh, 10 feet maybe and i will just speed up this part So I have finished with this now let's run the plugin and create the topography so go to add-ins and run topo shaper okay it's giving us the error that there is no any topography created in our project so to run this plugin you must need to have a topography created in our project so let's click ok and go to site plan and create a topography go to massing and site select topo surface and just create four points here i'm going to use this line as a reference so just create a point at the corner of this one here and two more on this side now just click finish and go back to 3d and if i change the visual style to shade it we'll be able to see the topography now let's run the plugin again go to add-ins run topo shaper and this time it's telling us to select the model lines with which to modify topography just click ok and just select the lines which you want to turn into topography and once you make the selection you can just go here and click finish and once you click on that you will get this dialog box here you have uh, these two options you can either give the number of points you want on each line or you can use the distance method you can put the distance here at what distance uh, you want uh, to create the topography points so I'm going to use this one let's give 30 points and click shape topography there you go the topography is now created now let's edit this topography and you will be able to see the points now each of these lines have 30 points which we just give in the settings and of course we can change the elevation of these points as well
now just quickly undo and create the topography again and this time we will increase the number of points so let's do that go to add-ins run the plugin click ok just make a selection and then click finish and this time we'll put 100 points now click shape topography there you go let's select this topography and edit surface and you will see the the points are now increased now each of these lines have 100 points so this was a quick demonstration on using this free revit plugin i hope it would be helpful to you guys as well if you want to add 3d grass to this topography you can check out my previous video you can just follow the link in the description or just click on the eye icon at the top right corner of this video so that's it see you guys in the next video